Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is your favorite Dr. Harry, and I'm looking for a place to do laundry. I'll no longer be saying to wash my clothes, a place to do laundry. So, where I stay is like uh, the landlady or landlord doesn't allow people to use washing machines. So, how do they wash their clothes? Or how do they do their laundry? There's a specific place where you take your clothes to be washed. I don't know if it's everywhere in America or maybe it's a, a law in Maryland or Baltimore, I don't know. But anyway, they normally say if you go to Rome, you live like Romans. So, someone directed me at a place uh, up here. Let me try and find if I can trace the place where I can wash uh, my clothes, I said I will quit saying washing my clothes, a place where I could do my laundry. I was told just after the lights on my left. So I think uh, these are the lights. Then I should take this gap. There's a gap here. A gap, the way we normally call it in Barbados. An entrance to a place, we call it a gap. So I'll take that gap, go ask where they do laundry. And, uh, they seem like apartments. I don't want to knock on the wrong door. It's uh, a case where a small boy went and knocked on the wrong door and he was shot. So I don't want to be a victim. I'll try and see if I will ask where they do laundry. I don't want to knock on someone's door. And they'll be like, who is that on the door? Give me my weapon. I'm just kidding. It's highly unlikely to happen. But at the same time, you should be careful. If something like that happened, it should be a lesson to you that uh, you should not be knocking on people's door. Sometimes you might have good intentions, but the owner might not really understand why you're knocking at their door. So I found a place to do laundry. At my background, you see the building with the flag. That's where people do their laundry. But the problem is uh, they don't accept cash, they use card. And my card, I've been using it uh, since I sent money to Meridian Group. First Caribbean Bank also blocked it again. So I need to call them and unblock, but they directed me to another place where I can use cash. So let me go to the other place where they accept cash because I cannot use my card. So that's my bus number 54. If I want to go to Baltimore downtown or Baltimore city center or walk around here or my exit from this place, most of the times I take uh, bus number 54 which is at the background, if you can see it. There it is. It's gone. Mm -hmm. What is not happening? Is it road and worthy vehicle or something? No, it's just a car. U-Haul. U-Haul. I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation. I have no idea. So I need to cross to the other side. And I followed this side because I can press there for the lights. The other side doesn't have where I can press for the lights. Scared of what I could do, but I'm going to need up for you. Go back. Back to the night, as for the truth, and the truth is that night. Wait! And the press for the button says wait. There's a lot of traffic. Even in the skies. Plane flying. I heard you, I'm waiting. Let me check this McDonald's route. Route. McDonald's route. McDonald's 
Look at this massive gigantic truck. Wrangler. Oh, there's a drive through here and some nice aroma. I can smell some McDonald's. I can't smell some McDonald's. Hmm. Wow. However nice it smells, if you do too much of it, it will shorten your lifespan. Steer clear of fast foods. Is it steer? Steer clear of fast foods. That's the best advice from Dr. Harry. Stay away from fast foods and junk foods. Or eat in moderation. Don't eat too much. Because you're gonna shorten your lifespan by eating too much. I saw some group of boys there. They are smoking weed and doing drugs. I was afraid they will snatch my phone and dash away with it. So I had to hide it. So they told me I can do laundry around here. Let me try and look for the place. I've seen some lady looking at me. Why? Does she know me? Mm -hmm. She's surprised that who is this guy? He doesn't look American. He doesn't look like he's from here. Excuse me, young man. Are you new in the hood? You look like you're new here. I'm only two weeks old. That's why you can see the naiveness in my face. I look too naive. That someone can tell that I'm not from here. I'm still looking for a place to do my laundry. They told me it's along this strip mall, but I can't figure it out. So it seems that I just passed it. Saying is uh, past the nail shop. So in the background, there's a Shoprite supermarket. I was there recently. Shoprite. So nail shop should be here. Tobacco. They say tobacco here. Metro by T-Mobile. I saw a nail shop somewhere. Let me see if I can get it. That's it. Laundromat. So I found the laundromat. Yes, I met some lovely ladies there, but it seems that they don't speak English that well. They sound Spanish. They sound Spanish. So let me go get my clothes then come and do the laundry those guys in the background they look like they can steal everything from you they can even steal your soul <laughs> you have to be careful so that uh, no one hijacks me and takes some valuables from me including my phone which is the only camera i have so if it goes, how will I do videos? How will I talk to my fans? It will take me some time to buy another phone like this one or buy a camera. Let me drop here. Cross once again. Yes. I'm waiting for traffic until I see the pedestrian light. That's when I'll cross. Oh, I've crossed successfully. I wanna go get my laundry or my clothes. Then repeat the same cycle. The way I went is the same way I'm gonna come back. Yeah. Everything is learning. Everything is learning. We're learning and learning and learning. Got everything that I need inside here this bag that being said let's roll yeah i hope they won't mistake me to be a homeless man 911 what's the emergency i just saw a homeless guy can you send us the address oh my god you won't believe he has a very gigantic bag with a chunk of clothes thanks for reporting you are a true patriot of this state Maryland state has been trying to get rid of these homeless people. Then the police will come. Hey, excuse me, sir. Drop that weapon on the ground. 
No size, just a bag I'm carrying. A bag of clothes. I said drop it. Put your hands where I can see them. Let me cross to the other side. Although it's not the safest place to cross from. Okay, I will drop it, but I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth. I heard that's what Americans normally say if they are caught by police. I plead the fifth. Hey, Sheriff at the station, do you copy? We got him in custody. Send backup, I need backup. He looks like a strong man, I cannot hand him alone. Backup, send backup. Let's take this John Doe to the station. Oh, I was talking about the government of Maryland and it's here. Wee, wee, wee. County police. Sheriff, we got him. Ah, release him. That's Dr. Harry. He's still new to Maryland. Oh, Dr. Harry, I'm a big fan. How dare you guys arrest Dr. Harry? Oh, he's doing amazing work. In fact, he's been here for two days. He's promoting Maryland State. Why are you arresting him? Dr. Harry, can I get an autograph signed? Hmm? In fact, you officer should go and buy Dr. Harry a washing machine. Go and take some of the mayor's funds and buy Dr. Harry machine. Washing machine. He cannot be looking for laundry machines here. He's the only exception. So I came ahead to get a detergent <laughs> and I paid for it was uh was it three dollars or two dollars and two fifty yeah this yeah. one that you use and one twenty five yeah and you use two for one wash a small okay. machine okay I see why okay look yes you need coins change here the coins for machine. Yeah. So you can put in a note. Yeah. The bill for coins. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. You need the quarters. Okay, and here is five dollars. Yeah. Una de tres cincuenta. A small machine. $350. Okay. Like I hope you, you don't mind my video. No problem. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from Kenya, but I used to live in Barbados. You do English is very fast. <laughs> oh. Where are you from? Africa? Yeah, I'm from Kenya. Kenya? Kenya. But I used to live in Barbados. Oh, yeah. Barbados? Yeah. So where is this in Africa? No, it's in the Caribbean. It's, Caribbean? it's uh, yeah. south of America, south of the United States. Oh, the Caribbean? Caribbean and the Yeah, Caribbean. Okay. You put here, you close. Okay. Put everything. So... Uh -huh. I have a friend, Angolia. Oh, from Angola? Uh -huh. Angola, 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 uh -huh. Angola is very far from Kenya. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. My clothes are very old. I need to buy new clothes. Okay. I'm kidding. But you can, you can buy your detergent in different stores if you want. Detergent. Mm-hmm, the next time. I didn't understand the point, the one you said. You said that I can bring my wife? Uh, you can bring your, your detergent. Oh, detergent. For the next time, I have to try your family dollar, gold mark, whatever. I had no idea. You work in this area? No, I'm a medical student, so... Yeah, I'm here to start my clean rotations. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where do you study clothes? Just stay solar circle. It's no okay. Mm -hmm. okay. This machine is three fifty. Yeah. You remember five dollar, right? Mm -hmm. Three fifty. 
and maybe one dollar twenty-five for dry machine. Okay, three fifty here. You put money in here. So you put no problem. <laughs> okay. Everything. Look. Okay. Um, other, other, uh, okay. Other, other, uh, okay. 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 So how long is it gonna take? Twenty nine minutes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Look at you need to put your coins. Your coins there. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so you might want to help you. It's good if I do it myself to learn, right? Mm -hmm. It's okay, right? Why do you have to be going? Oh. <laughs> For one coin, put it in. Okay. Okay. Uh, five minutes. Yeah. For just five, five coins. Okay, wait. Yeah. I'm still waiting. The ladies here are very nice. They are helping me do my laundry. Good customer service. So I have to wait for 25 minutes. So I've been sharing a lot. I showed them my country, Kenya. I was surprised. Oh, um, there are places that look like this in Africa. I showed them our capital, Nairobi. I did not come with my detergent, so they told me next time I can come along with my own detergent. So I had to buy detergent. Yeah. Next time I'll work with my own detergent. The funny thing with us uh, people from Africa, every powder soap, we call it Omo. No matter the brand, it's Omo. I remember my mom would even send me and tell me, go and bring me Ariel Omo. Omo ya Ariel. Yeah. Safety notice, you are solely responsible for property and safety. We do not allow anybody to ride in 
uh, laundry cart please do not sit on folding tables and wishes children must be supervised at all time this is also the re reputation of the same in spanish here reglas de la vendria uh -huh. no somos responsibles yeah? responsibles for for la padida robodano disroba por favor sigalas entusiasmes de lavado en lavadros why seca dross hey i still value my tongue i don't want to bite my tongue if i bite my tongue trying to pronounce those words why will i use to test food hmm. still need to enjoy my food but spanish is one of the languages that i've been wanting to learn i can speak nine languages i can actually speak nine languages yeah and some of them are, i can hear some of the languages but speaking is uh, difficult but in terms of speaking i can speak nine languages do you know the center of language in your brain the frontal lobe and the temporal lobes of your brain are responsible for language this is this part of the brain called a broker broker's area and then there's a one area so broker's area is located in the frontal lobe and Waniki's area is located in the temporal lobe so the loss of ability to understand or express speech is called a aphasia so when there's damage to these particular areas like uh, when there's damage to the broker's area and say broker's aphasia and then when there's a uh, damage to the Waniki's area you call it a uh, Waniki's aphasia there's another term uh, almost similar to aphasia it's called a uh, dysphasia so dysphasia is a partial loss of a language and aphasia is a complete loss of a language don't confuse this with uh, dysphagia when we talk about dysphagia we are talking about something else that's a loss of the ability to swallow yeah so dysphagia has to do with language and dysphagia has to do with the ability to swallow i don't know if you guys know who bruce willis is so bruce willis was diagnosed with uh, frontotemporal dementia and prior to that he had been diagnosed with a progressive aphasia so some of the symptoms that are frontotemporal dementia uh, present with this, uh, aphasia yeah so i told you there are two regions of the brain responsible for speech and language this is the broca's and wanikis area and they are located in the frontal lobe and temporal lobe so he has frontotemporal dementia it makes sense why he present with aphasia so i'm trying to fold my clothes let me try and see how i can position this camera well please i don't have someone to hold the camera for me i was enjoying the use of the ladies that were here now i don't have someone to help me hold where are you now where are you now? Hey, it's been too long. Where are you now? Where are you now? Hey, it's been too long. This is my only surviving white shirt. I had plenty of them, but they got stained. They turned old. I had to trash them. This is my only surviving white shirt. So recently I showed you a video. Oh, not even recently. It was at uh, the beginning of this video. I was doing some shopping. I bought some two clothes. My card let me down. I had to return some clothes. I tried uh, paying via card. It wasn't going through. But anyway, I'll get some more cash and buy more clothes. Hmm? 
Dr. Harry has to look nice. We need to look presentable in front of patients. And other doctors, when I stand on word rounds and raise the point, will be saying, look, listen to this brilliant young man. Brilliant young man from Kenya, a student from Victoria University of Barbados. So I finish, it's time to go now. Let me say bye bye to my friends here. All right, I'm gone. Is it a uh, hasta la vista? Yeah. Is it a uh, hasta la vista or is it adios? Adios, mi amigas. <laughs> yeah. Oh. There were Spanish ladies, super nice ladies. Yeah. Maybe next time I'll be going to wash clothes there again. We shall meet. It's good to interact with people. And through interaction you will make friends. And for me, I'm a person who likes talking. If you stay close to me, you realize how I like talking, I like cracking jokes. Yeah. I like making friends. Yeah. Anyway, this has been a very beautiful video. I want to close it here. And uh, I don't have much to say. I want to wish you a good time wherever you are. Be it a good day, be it a good night, be it a good morning. Yeah. Whatever that suits you. So, bye bye. And let me meet you in the next one. Adios. So I bought some snock on here from a young lady called Nicole. Yeah, I've seen her selling snock on this morning. And I thought because I'm left with uh, two dollars, let me promote her. So I bought it. So let me go and enjoy it. I had said bye bye. I want to say bye bye again. Adios, hasta la vista. Well, we also have ice cream trucks here, just like in Barbados. It's drizzling today. So I want to go and uh, withdraw the money from Western Union. I told you the other time that my money was on hold. So I'm going to withdraw today and I want to register for the second SIM card. So let's roll. Look at the chilly weather. Ah, I hope it won't rain on me. I hope it won't rain on me. Ay, 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 ay. Come on, let it rain over me. I don't know if you guys know that song. There's another one, Ariana Grande Fit, Lady Gaga. It's called uh, Rain On Me. I never ask you for a free ride. I only ask you for a big good time. I never ask for rainfall. I don't know if I'm getting the lyrics right. At least it should have you show me nothing at all. Is it nothing at all or nothing at all? Nothing at all, not nothing at all. It's coming down on me. What a let misery. It's coming down on me. I'm ready, rain on me. I'd rather be dry, but at least I'm alive. Rain on me, uh, uh, rain on me, rain on me. Hands up to the sky, I'll be a galaxy. I'm about to fly. Rain on me. I'd rather be dry, but at least I'm alive. Rain on me, rain on me. Forgive me if my vocals are poor. Ariana Grande and Lady Gaga, if you're watching my video, sorry for destroying your lyrics. I tried my best, but unfortunately, it did not rain on me. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Of course, I wanted it to rain. I wanted it to rain. Anyway. Let's go to Western Union now. I wanna withdraw some money.
Taco Bell. Then we register for a SIM card. Flowers have blossomed. What a beauty. What a beauty here in America. The United States. That's a garbage truck doing its thing. Collecting trash. So we'll uh, cross this road and go to the other side. Uh-huh. Where do I cross from? I think I'll just use this point. Won't be going anywhere else. This car wants to come here. So the road is clear. Let me cross. Hey, Mr. Truck. You look so gigantic. With the toilets. Uh huh. Let me wait. All your horses, Dr. Harry. I think we have to drop here. We have to drop here. McDonald's represented. McDonald's, McDonald's. The Craven Plaza. So the Western Union is uh, along this strip mall. I hope I still remember the direction. I won't get lost. Still in my mental cabinet, I still remember. Dr. Harry still remembers, he's still in my mental cabinet. It's stored in my hippocampus and amygdala. Hippocampus and amygdala. Should I follow here? Let me climb this test. Hippocampus and amygdala. So the hippocampus and the amygdala are responsible for long-term memory. So if you talk about uh, short-term memory, uh, the frontal lobe is responsible for short-term memory. For example, is the one short-term memory uh, is all that enables you to remember a phone number someone has just told you right now. Yeah, so maybe you might be on the call. Someone tells you, I have this number down. You write it down. Yeah, then you will be able to remember it. We also have a uh, skill memory. The part of the brain responsible for that is the uh, cerebellum. The cerebellum is responsible for skill memory. Let's roar. Let's rush. Let's roar. What is the correct pronunciation? Hippocampus or hippocampus? Hippocampus or hippocampus? What do you think? I don't know. Is it here? Oh, Western Union. I've seen it. You see. So unfortunately, here the Western Union is down. It's down, down, down. Let's see if we can get the services somewhere else where they directed me. The other market across the road. I think it's called Gucci Boulevard. The road is called Gucci Boulevard. So we are going the other direction. Across Gucci Boulevard. Let me give this car space. I'll be safe along here. I'll be safe along here. Le Craven Taylor Medical Center. Oh. This is a clinic. Apparently, this is a clinic. But I don't have the documents to serve here in America. So I must finish my studies first. I'll do my clinical rotations after I finish. I march into residence and see if they will accept me. I'm dying to prescribe these hands very soon. In two years' time or one and a half years' time. Be prescribing these hands. The 
and I'll be glad to serve you. I'll be glad to serve you. I read every day to keep myself at par with new information. Without also forgetting old information, all is beneficial. I was told I'll get Western Union services across the street or the road. Oh, this is not Gucci Boulevard, this is Lokraven Boulevard Road. Lokraven Boulevard. I think, uh, let me cross while it's still safe. So I think you see uh, Western Union. And the other time I passed it, I did not see it. So I think uh, Western Union is here. I hope I'll be able to end the drop. I hope I'll be able to end the drop. look for my island. Finally done. Yeah, walking out. Now it's time to go and register for the SIM card. Going to get power by T-Mobile. Beauty Island Beauty Supply. It trains cat and dogs. Planet Fitness. I had said power by T-Mobile is Metro by T-Mobile. As you can see it's written Metro by T-Mobile. So you're going in. May I take your order? So what's your name if you don't mind me asking? Luis. Luis. Okay. I was here last time. I don't know if you remember me. <laughs> yeah, I get it. You see many customers. Yeah. It's a lot of people that walk in there. Yeah. Okay. Right now we just put in the chip to see if it, if it reads it. Is the phone unlocked? Good. Is the phone unlocked? Yeah. This phone normally has some issues. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it misbehaving? I don't know, it doesn't like me. <laughs> yeah. We have a $40 plan, the $50 plan, and the $60 plan. Alright. Um, the $40 plan is 10 gigs of data, the $50 plan is unlimited high speed, and mm. the $60 plan is unlimited high speed. Mm. The 60 is just a little faster. And it gives you the 50, uh, 25 gigs of hotspot data to share. All right. So all you would pay for is today to get the chip is the plan, depending on which one you want. Um, the activation fee, which is 25, and the chip is 10 dollars. All right. So the, is the plan mandatory? Yeah, you have to get the plan. Well, give me a 40 dollar plan. 40. So right now we're just gonna create you an account. Right? Yeah. I was making a video. I hope you you don't mind. All right. You know, it's good to ask. <laughs> Do you have an ID or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is very important. Yeah, it is very important. Thank you. Yes. Where are you from? I'm from Kenya. can tell people what else do you have? Huh? What else do you sell here? Oh, we sell a lot of stuff. We sell uh, speakers. Okay. Uh, we sell headphones. Like All right. Basically, what you use for a phone, you know, with a lot of cases. Yeah. Screen protectors, chargers. Yeah. You know, and services. You know, All right. Plans and stuff like that. Yeah. So where are you located? Maybe. Maryland. I mean, uh, where your store is located? What? What is what? Your store is located. Oh, 6853 Lock River Boulevard. All right. Towson, Maryland. Mm. Thank you. Address. I finished registering for the SIM card. There's some music in the background. I don't know if I'll get a copyright or not. But I know how to get about it. To 
least uh, to block the music so that I don't get a copyright. So that's basically how you can get a SIM card here in the United States. In America. It's drizzling so I have to wait. I have to wait. It's drizzling. This Burger King, I've always given them a free shout out. Dr. Harry, why are you shouting fast food? Change. Why are you shouting fast food chains? This is my bus. I'm not shouting them, I was just reading the name that I saw. Anyway, guys, I want to wrap up my video here. It was nice hanging out with you guys. Wanna say bye bye? And let me meet you in the next one. Adios. Ciao, ciao. How do they normally say it? Is it hasta la vista? Hasta la vista, mi amigos, mi amigas. Any that works for you.